Alrighty guys, and welcome back to another LEGO video from Brick by Brick, and today we have set number 8679, Tokyo International Circuit. Got instruction booklet 1 and instruction booklet 2. It's a nice big set, $90. Quite a few pieces, and 8 vehicles come in this set. So, of course we'll start with the star of the show, basically. Because this set's one of one of the race theme sets, but you know. So we have Lightning McQueen. Very cool figure indeed. Sorry if you just heard the phone ring. Um, you can see his expression there, and the two headlights. And we got this very cool Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo on the front. This is of course the Cars 2 version. Well, that's just light. Um, and you can see his de the determined expression in his eyes. We got the printing, we got two of these, wait no, they're different, you can see, facing opposite direction, but you know, we got two of those printed tile pieces, you can see on the top it says Lightning McQueen, 95, we got the windows, and it says World Grand Prix, on the back bumper thing, this version does have headlights, and powered by all in all, you can see the nice gold and white wheels, very awesome, uh, detail on those. And that's Lightning McQueen. Next, I guess we'll do Mater, because Mater's the other star of the show. I apologize if his wheel falls off. Um, the piece broke while I was building it. Like, it bends so that the wheel comes off really easily now. Uh, I ordered another one from lego.com. Uh, it should be coming soon. You know, didn't have it, so I just decided to leave it. Um, but you can see, he's got the buck teeth here. You can see he's got this microphone, which we've seen in one other set for Luigi. You can see he's got the ear muffs, headphones, things on his ears. And he doesn't have the rear view mirrors in this version. This version only appears in this set. And you can see he's got the eyes like the regular Mater does. Got the hood in the back is basically the same as normal versions. You can see he's got this back detail in this printed piece. Very nice there. We got the license plate covered with mud. And on each side, it has one of these Tomator bricks. It says Tomator. Um, the bottom line says Radiator Springs. Give me a sec. I just want to read the second line. Sir, I don't know. Can't read it, but you know. But there we go. It's a very cool mater there. It does look kind of weird because it doesn't have the rear view mirrors, which basically defines a mater, but the next big, yeah, see, this is the wheel that's gonna keep falling off on me. Um, next figure is Luigi. We get, like, the Fiat symbol, because I believe that's what he is. You can see the mouth printed with the bumper down there on that piece. And then he has his eyes up here. This is the same version of Luigi as in the Tokyo Pit Stop set. I haven't reviewed that set yet, because I'm waiting on a part that blue lever that I couldn't find. Apparently it didn't come with the set. So, you know. During my brick race, that's it. And we got this printing on the back. You know, earmuffs. You got this nice, like, kind of looks like a hat. Like, you would have a hat if you were a real person. Same, like, that would be a mustache. I believe it's supposed to be like this. But if you wanted him to be look sad, you could put it like that. And... And he's got these nice silver wheels. Something about these wheels, I really like them. And that's basically it. And you notice Mater has just the one. Um, then we go Guido, also not exclusive to this set. He's got the... N um, none of the figures I've shown... Well, Mater is the only figure exclusive to the set that I've shown you so far. And you can see... Well, that version of Mater. You can see uh, Guido's mouth here. You got like the red tongue printed on there. That's a nice uh, brick. I love the color that Guido is in. And you can see his eye printed. Got a jumper plate on there to allow that to stay like that. Two wheels instead of in the movie he has three. They didn't want to put a third wheel in the center, I guess. And these do move, and he can hold something here. He could like take this '95 flag. And hold it. They show that on the box, I believe. I don't have the box anymore. Got rid of it. But, you know. 
And since I just did the pit crew, I'll do these pit crews. So here we go. We have the pit, the Japanese pit, the Japanese pity, I guess. He's got this nice piece up here, like it's supposed to be a hat. He's got the really big earmuffs or headphones, and he has the same face as the other pity is gonna have. And he has a stop fuel sign. Both of them have something like this. Both of them are built basically the same way, except they have a little bit of variation here and here. So this one's like the white and red one for Japan. He's got the white tires. And these do move. And here we go. We got the Italian pit guy for Francesco. The other one was for shoe. You can see the different hat style. And it's got the slopes back here. It's green, red, and white for, uh, for uh, Italy. And you got the gray wheel insides. And next up, I guess we'll do Francesco. You can see the great detail on this front piece. I know I do have a little bit of misprint scuff marks there. And on the eyes, you can see the expression that he's got there. And on the back, if you hold it like this, it looks like an Italian flag, so that's cool. Um, basically, Francesco is a very different race car. doesn't look the same as the other ones because he's built very differently. He's obviously got the open wheels, no fenders like Lightning McQueen has. But you can see the deep, thick wheels in red. That's what he's got. So there's Francesco. And Shu Todoroki. Um, he and the Pities are the only ones exclusive to this set. However, he is an awesome, awesome design on this car. I mean, really, he doesn't have many printed pieces, just three. But, I mean... He just looks awesome. And you can see he's got his mouth there. The design where like this side's red, this side's white. Um, it continues on the back with these plates here. That's really cool. You can see he's got the number seven on in the front of him. Stern expression. Good guys, you got the red flame maybe on the side there. Just an awesome design on shoe here. And you got like the Spoiler. Clayton McQueen has this smaller spoiler. Francesco's got the really big spoiler. You know. But, move these aside for now. I will set everything back up afterwards. And I'll get out the figures as we need them to show stuff. But I just need to get some of the stuff out of the way. So, the first thing you'll see here is that we have the starting line, finish line. Um, this up here rotates, so you can have lap 1, lap 2, lap 3, lap 4. These are not printed, they're stickers. We have the two checkered flags. You can move them if you want. You can make this smaller by raising these up here, you know, if you wanted. There we go. Not if you really wanted to. But you can see it's got like the three red lights ready set. Um, on your marks, get set. I don't know. But it has one green light too. Over here we got the camera so that it can record them. And we got the... I forget, was this supposed to be on this side? Yeah. Well, um, we got the like light here. Stop, go, I guess. And do like these. It would have been cool if it went all the way across. Just... Touch there, and we do have on the side here is we have Francesco's one flag because this doubles as one of these, one of these things, which each one has in front of their pits. You can see we got a 95 flag and a 7 flag. All of these flags are double stickered, they're stickers, but um, double sided. Each pit has one of these things. You can see Japan's got the two wrenches, all of them have the all in all sticker here. Uh, the United S and the only thing that differs is a base piece and the tools. It's got a screwdriver and an oil can for Lightning McQueen. And for Francesco, we have a hammer and a drill. So, now you can see we got the different pits. Each pit has a, has the country's flag on it. It's only one-sided, but still, it's cool. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So this is where the Japanese pity would be, like inside of here. 
you know, and I'll give you a quick back view of the pits. This lantern, I'll show you in a second, but it just fell off. There's the back view of the pits. You can see it's got the clips there. Nothing else really special. There's nothing, like, you couldn't stand minifigures or put a vehicle up there. It'd be really cool if you did, and I might actually try that and show you guys. But you can see we got the cool 7 sticker up there and the banner. Each one has uh, those stickers. And we have the lantern up there. It's black and white. And pretty cool design on the pits there. Now this is Lightning McQueen's pit. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the top part like, uh, afterwards. This one is the only one that's different than the other two. The other two are just built the same, just with different colors. And stickers, you can see we got the 95 sticker. The World Grand Prix 95, all in all. And up at the top, we got this thing. And this is meant for Luigi. Luigi is able to come up here and be the announcer with the, mic with the megaphone. It's there. And you know, this thing will come off. It just attaches with some studs. And this is what it looks like all the way around. I'll give you guys a back view in one second. Just got to get this back up there. And this is what it looks like from the back. There should be a gray 2x4 brick here. I just couldn't find it. So, you know. And last but not least, we have Francesco's pit over here. You can see we got the one sticker, the World Grand Prix, and Italy flags and stuff. And just a back view there. So, you know. All in all, the set is a great set. One of the better sets. If you get this set, you really don't need to get the Italy uh, World Grand Prix one. And, yeah. I'll just put all these things over here. Because my camera's running out of battery and I don't want it to cut out our video. Don't want to break this up for you, guys. And anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a fan fantastic day. Be sure to uh, check out some of the other videos on my channel. And expect plenty more content coming your way soon. And for some reason, reason Vader's out here on the racetrack. It's because he's a secret agent, but don't tell anyone. And just hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to see some more cars reviews, just... Uh, Check out some stuff on my channel later, and have a fan-flip-fantastic day.